Everybody, got something to share with you. Not that soft date up, software update. A uh, couple of things I want to share with you. I just want to fetch something up quickly. Tourists and trainers rescued in Ben Nevis blizzard. Now, when I first saw that on the news, admittedly, I did do an up upload video, very brief, very foul language, uh, very blunt, to the point of what I think about people who do things like that. However, once you take a deep breath in that, right, it just hammers home that point about getting a good grasp of some basic skills. And I'm not talking about survival skills. Or bushcrafting skills life skills right just some basic life skills i mean come on guys get it right you know i mean this video is not about this but without going into it too far across the country we're having weather warnings right severe weather warnings unfortunately people have um you know there's been a fatali fatality or two right a lot of upset a lot of damage and uh, what you get is half a dozen idiots or five I think I think there was five of them a squad of five lads oh let's go to the top of Ben Nevis in the middle of winter by all accounts they were looking to get dragged off if they'd gone up a few meters further the signal would have gone on the phone that's how they've got, got them the triangled triangulation on the signal but you know this is what some people don't realize it only takes a fraction of a second to make that mistake which could cost you a lifetime of bad right so but they weren't trainers i mean come on come on right anyway little rant over <coughs> uh, it was valentine's day wasn't it you know what i mean so little, little valentine's gift i want to share with you right uh the wife got me a couple of these, look. One's the classic, and one's the quattro. These are the uh, Swiss cards. I've, I've seen them before. Make no doubt you've probably seen them before. I never owned one. I've looked at them, I thought, you know what, maybe it's, maybe it's not, but I've got them now. I just thought I'd show you what you get, what kind of things that you get on a credit card type Victorinox. Obviously, I've had them opened. Uh, little tab open up like that type thing and then you get the card right, this is the this is the classic right I'll show you both of them almost transparent right so you get a nice little blade and then you can see how far down the tan goes look see that there we get a little blade uh, just one second. Can you make that out there? That pin? You get a pin. You get the blade, little pin. Nail file, little straight screwdriver. Jesus. A toothpick. The pen. Some people might know this, but these are pressurized, these uh, little pen inserts from Victoria Docks, you know, so you could write upside down and all that with it. If you're American, you could probably take it into space. But I was just to take a pencil. We get that in there, and then a pair of scissors, Victorinox scissors. Right, so that's like the tools that you can remove. You obviously get there's a scale on there. Look, I think that would be in mil. 
Yeah, the front one's in uh, millimetres, that'll never catch on, that system. And then the back one is uh, the Imperial system, inches. So that's the, uh, that's the classic. I was fortunate to also to get the Quattro, which is more or less the same tool as many Victorian oxes, you know what I mean? There's very little difference between a, a blade, isn't there? <clears throat> uh, so again, quickly, you got the pin up in there. Get the blade. Get a little pin there. Look, you see it right there. That pin, pin. The blade, of which I do believe they say it's a letter opener. Near fire screwdriver, flat screwdriver, tweezers, the toothpick. See these toothpicks <clears throat> on my normal blades, right? Pocket knives, Victorian ox. Not only do I use it to dig about my teeth, of which I do do, right? But they're quite good for cleaning your knife, you know, around the, um, where the slip joints are, like up in there and that, you get, you get pocket fluff. They're quite handy for cleaning them out. Thank you. Uh, close the hand. Uh, so we'll get the toothpick. Did we see the tweezers? Yeah, we've done the tweezers. Uh, toothpick tweezers. Get the pen. And the blade on this one, or oh, the big, is that little tool there? That's what they call in the quattro tool. You get two little flats, two little flat fizz, um, Phillips or posy. Just one day, I think they called it. Uh, something like that. You know, like your yeah, remote controls and that. You get little battery cases that take it uh, that are screwed in and things like that. Very handy for things like that. Very handy. So that's the. Uh, <laughs> thought I'd share that with you. That's what I got. Uh, Valentine's Day as a Valentine's Day card type thing. And uh, it's like an ongoing thing. Really. Uh, was it last year? Or the year before? Not this Christmas just gone, but maybe it was a couple of Christmases back. She uh, she bought me a load of credit cards survival tool type things you know like like, like a tongue and cheek gift just pennies you know just pennies uh, from a long boat from china and what she said this time is she, i mean she's gone off and looked looked for these herself i didn't say oh look get, get us a couple of them so uh i mean i've looked at them you know you're probably more aware of them than i am i've, I've looked at them I've, I've always known they've been about but I just never bought one, you know, I just, just didn't get one, but now I've got, now I've got them. I'll probably be using them. She got me them in blue, blue team. Uh, just on that, just, 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 just quickly, just quickly. That would go nicely. That's a nice little setup, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? Blue, if you dropped it, you could find that quite easily. That's a jelly blue huntsman. So, you know. Horses for courses. But yeah, lucky lad. That's what I got for Valentine's Day. I just thought I'd share them with you. Give you something to look at. And, uh, a bit more, um, Like I said, I just, I couldn't get over that. I just couldn't get over that. 
Bloody weather warnings right across the country, and uh, they've decided to go up by Nevis with nothing. They didn't have any kit with them. Nothing. Trainers. Insanity. Uh, but just on that, I've noticed again today there's uh, there's been yet another weather warnings that they're still carrying on. For those people who have ever who have suffered. In the, in the in the floods or the the bad weather, sympathy goes with you. Uh, but you know, this is what I'm going to say. This is my point, and I I think that's my made. Even though it comes down from the heavens, yes, I get that. But if there was more soil and earth left than tarmac and concrete, I don't think the uh, the floods would be happening as bad. That's just my personal opinion. But. Uh, it can be very harrowing, so you know, my heart does go up to people who have suffered, and I mean that, you know, because it can't be nice losing everything. And there's been a fatality or two, you know what I mean? So it's not good. So, anybody who's out there, knee deep, ankle deep in there, in water, I do feel for you. See, so being Scotland on the west side of Scotland, uh, if it doesn't rain, we get a weather warning. Oh, it's going to stop raining, comes on the news. It's going to stop raining between 9 and 9 past, 5, 5 past 9. That's our weather warning, I'm not sure. But we've had it quite bad up here, uh, weather-wise. Uh, like I say, we're lucky. It's quite hilly, you know what I mean? So, and there's locks and dams and all sorts up here, but uh, the wind's been quite high. It's been a few slates come off. So you know what I mean, you've got, you've got to think haven't you, but like I say, just just again, you know, not repeat myself too toughly, but it just bangs home that point of never lose, losing the grasps, the grasps of the, of the basics. Uh, I don't think there's any harm in repeating it, then repeating it, then repeating it, and then repeating it for years and then. I've been doing it for years. I'm bang well in my 50s, well into my 50s, right? And I have done nothing but bang on about basics, basics, basics for years, for years. Because like I said before, it's those basic skills which will keep you alive. And I'm not talking survival bushcrafty type skills or whatever. But sometimes it's just life skills, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's going to be raining heavy. Put something waterproof on. It's going to be cold. Put something a bit warm on underneath that. You know what I mean? Put a coat on. It's Great Britain. So I'll just put, share that with you. Uh, so I'll share it with you. Get me back on. And let you know. Uh, oh yes, before I got, I've got a note there down there, right, I've got a note, don't forget, I've forgotten what I thought was not supposed to forget, no, I'm only joking. <coughs> uh, I'm going to make an announcement soon, right, it's not your big announcement like Philip Schofield or whatever, right, it's just something I've been toying with. Uh, those people who know me, right, or been watching this me for the, since I started, right, I'm not, I'm not in it for the numbers, like, you know, oh, fewer count, fewer count and all that and subs. I'm not. It's for a handful of people. Originally, it was for a handful of people, not even that, who I like to speak to, and I needed to have a channel to talk to, and then, you know, I've put my all in it, and I've. So it's. Not, I'm not really like a channel channel. But uh, last year there was a, a, a joint effort with uh, Andy Mad Dog at uh, Mad Dog Supply. Uh, Mad Dog Survival. Sorry, Andy. I keep saying Mad Dog Supplies. Because I always just think of you as get me fire supplies from you. Last year, I think it was last year, there was a, a joint effort between Andy Mad Dog at Mad Dog Survival and myself. And uh, collectively we, we raised a little bit of money for uh, for heroes it went to, right? And uh, I'd like to do that again. You know, I'd like to do that again. So I've, I've quietly been talking to Andy and... Uh, I've commissioned something from Andy, which uh, it's not for general sale on his website. Uh, it might be, might be a possibility. I don't know, but I've asked him to commission me a specific bit of kit for a specific like giveaway. But I don't want it to be a giveaway, right? Uh, I 
want to try to raise some money for it, it'll probably be for help the heroes again right because i did i think that's um i think we should be doing our bit now looking after the lads who come back right so what i'm going to say is this little announcement is i'm not quite sure how to do it on you on youtube something like that right i don't want you to be sending money directly to me because that opens opens it up for oh well i give a five and or, or whatever right so i don't know quite how i'm gonna manage to do it i'm either going to do like a raffle like you know like right? it's so much per ticket and this is what you're going to buy uh, this is what you'll win or do i do an auction winner takes it all type thing so i don't know but i'm working on it i'm working on it i've got a paypal account so i don't know if i could set up a paypal account like a temporary paypal account and you can put the money into there for the raffle tickets or your bids or whatever but something like that's going to come up so basically if anybody um if anybody's done something like this before like a monetary type uh, raffle on youtube and i've got a couple of little ideas on, on, on how to do it for me just let me know and but that's coming up it'll be a couple of weeks a few weeks we'll get things sorted out properly you know what i mean things have got to come from there and uh, like i say i've got to set it up so it's all nice everybody's happy with it type thing but that's what's coming up so i don't know if, if it's going to be an auction or a raffle right but there's definitely going to be two there'll be two prizes to it there'll be there'll be the commission kit commission stuff from andy my dog supplies uh, my dog survival there'll be that there'll be another little sort of prize right and i would like to do like a wooden spoon type you know type thing but at the minute it's going to be a commissioned kit that you can't like it's not open, you know it's commissioned specifically for this thing and that'll be for either an auction or a raffle to try to raise a few bits a few coins for helpful heroes so if you're interested in that right tell your subscribers spout it about about look out for this look out for that and then i'll make an announcement and say listen right like, this is what it's going to be right once it's all sorted out i'll do a separate video let you all know what's going on but that's um that's something i would like to say you know and i'm asking you right now get try to get as many people involved in it you don't, you don't have to subscribe it's none of that hit the subscribe button because i'm not in it for the subscriptions i'm really not i'm just in it just to give my two pennies worth on on some subjects that i'm half interested in so it'll be worth entering because it's uh, it's coming from my dog you know what i mean one of the gifts is coming from my dog so whatever you get from my dog and let my dog survival you know it's going to be good good kit you know what i mean so Keep an ear out for me. Um, be, be like I say, be what we're on now. Possibly at the end of this month, I'll announce what we're going to do, right? Whether it be a raffle or uh, an auction, right? And then probably at the end of that month, so we're looking at March, April, March, April time, something like that. April, probably April, but that's early doors. But I've got to get it all together. I've got to get it all sort of like squared up and set up, but that's what we're gonna that's what i'm gonna try and do right so if you want to help the lads it help for heroes and you've watched this video go off and tell everybody just say listen there's something coming up uh, might be worth might be worth putting in you know what i mean so let's crack on with that so just again a couple of little things just thought i'd show you get me get me on here that the wife just gone off and got me for valentine's day and uh, don't go climbing up Ben Nevis in the middle of winter with trainers on. See what, again, about that Ben Nevis and those rescue the guys that go out rescuing, right? You see those guys and girls that go out and pull you off, right? You're putting them in jeopardy, right? It's just, they're going out of, the, they're going out of their way to get you back, you know? So, think, people, think. <laughs> 